Good morning, and welcome to Coffee Talk. It is early. It's like not even six o'clock yet. I couldn't sleep. I was working on a project last night for a horror movie, and I couldn't go to sleep. Not because I was scared. I think just creatively I couldn't go to sleep. Um, and then I couldn't stay asleep. What's that all about? I'm so excited to come to Dallas. For those of you who didn't see, I'm coming to Dallas next week for a book signing. I will be in Dallas Monday, um, and I will be at the Abby Farron flagship store from 5.30 to 7.30 Monday night, uh, signing books and taking pictures and doing a Q&A and talking to everybody. And you guys have been so great about showing up. I hope Dallas shows up. And some of you are from Austin, and some people were linking up online yesterday saying they would carpool, and I thought, how cool is that? Make a friend in Austin and come to Dallas, please. Um, so for so long, I said I was broken. I was damaged goods. Those were the terms I used to describe myself because I really believed it. I was damaged. Um, and... Father Bob one time said to me, you know, Jamie, you're not broken. You're just healing. You're in the healing process. And it was changing the way that I saw. It was changing the perspective that helped me change the way I speak about myself. Um, that I thought was so such a profound gift to give to somebody because when you get stuck in that uh, negative self-talk, you are a self-fulfilling prophecy. I mean, if you keep telling people you are broken and damaged, not only will they believe it, but you genuinely believe it. It is how you see yourself, broken and damaged or ugly or fat or too skinny or unlovable or not funny or too loud, whatever. And I realized that what I would do to myself to protect myself is say what I believe people saw in me out loud before they could say it. So I would always say things like, oh, you know me, I'm too loud, I'm crazy, I'm over the top, outspoken, blah, 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 because I thought that if I called myself crazy, it would lessen the blow if other people said it. If I said I talked too much or I was too loud, um, it could become the running joke that I then started. It couldn't hurt me if I was the one that started it, right? So all of the negative self-talk was coming from me. And Father Bob showed me how to simply change the way I acknowledge my flaws. He said, always acknowledge that you are flawed, but change the way you present them because... Your negative self-talk is so damaging to your psyche. You don't realize it, but over and over, constantly saying that you are damaged or broken, there's a little girl inside you who wants to be better and wants to heal. And she can't heal if you continue to tell her she is damaged or broken. And you know what? That is so true. So I started saying things like, uh, I am a work in progress. I am healing. Currently healing. Please wait. <laughs> and it really has helped the way that I see myself and love myself and talk about myself. Um, and it is really the way that I want to raise my girls, you know, um, I love who my girls are becoming. I'm so incredibly proud of my son too. It sounds like when I say those things that I'm not proud of my son or that I don't um, put a lot of effort into teaching him how to be a good human being. I do. It just um, scared me more to have daughters because I was not good for so long with women. So I wondered, could I cheer them on? Could I love them the way they need to be loved? 
could I uh, fight for them and have patience with them? Uh, the patience thing I'm working on. Um, so when I see my girls um, extend themselves without my prompting, when I see them extend kindness or show gratitude or say thank you or praise God, I go, all right, we're doing something right. And then somebody eats a booger and I go, oh, we're all the way down the hill again. We're down the hill. <laughs> we're at the bottom. Let's start over. Um, but you get it. And it all really is about positive self-talk. So, um, you know, I try to make changes in the way that I speak about myself. Um, a lot of times I will say things like, mommy, um, mommy is trying to be healthy or eats to be healthy when the kids say, you know, mommy, how come you're not eating the cookies or why don't you want this? I say, um, because I don't like the way it makes me feel. Um, after I eat it, um, and I'm trying to make healthy choices for my body. You know, look, I don't know that they'll come out completely unscathed about negative talk, but I have dog hair in my eye and it's killing me. But we could all do a little better uh, in the way that we speak about ourselves and um, care a little bit less about how other people see us and a little bit more about how we see ourselves because we are often the most damaging to the little girl inside us. We are the ones that are insulting her on a daily basis and she's fighting to protect herself from us and that's the saddest thing. Um, we should speak lovely about her. We should speak like she's listening, like any other little girl is listening because she is and uh, we're the ones that have to sleep with her at night so it's just something to think about so I don't I try not to say that I'm broken or damaged anymore I try to say I'm a work in progress or that I'm currently healing from certain things and it really does soften the way people see you they go oh well, I get that okay I'm a work in progress too I'm also currently healing um, so it's just something to think about Um, all right. I love you guys so much today. It is hump day. We are halfway there, folks. I love you. Have a great day.